Inhale, come in and hold now. Hold the position. And breathe. If you want a little bit more stretch, now the idea of this stretch from a physical standpoint is to stretch the front side of your left hip, right? Ideally, that's targeting here on this stretch. To target it more, you can bring your right hand to your right hip, extend your left arm long, hold over the side a little bit. You might feel that start to pull at the front of the left hip more at your psoas muscle. Then bring your hips forward and your back heel back at the same time and feel it even deeper. If you want even more, take your right hand to your left wrist, hasta banda, the hand lock on the wrist. Pull up as you fold over. That's some good stuff, ain't it, right? Worth the price of admission, which was no price. <laughs> Exhale, let's place both hands down on the floor. Step back, plank pose, top of a push-up. Go through your flow. Take your time. Eventually, when you get back to the dog, allow yourself to settle. And when you feel like it's the right moment, you'll take the left leg up toward the sky on an inhale. Same thing as you did on the other side, so the body finds a sense of balance, unless you have an injury in the low back or SI joint or the hip that you're being mindful of. All right, so if you kept the hips squared on the last side, you square the hips on this side, get a good stretch. If you open the hip on the last side, if there's no injury, open the hip on this side. You get a good stretch. When you're done, you'll place the left foot forward in between the hands on an exhale. Inhale, come up with the torso. Take in the ocean. Right, take it in, the vastness. Right, if you want to, you can even open your arms a little wider right, to feel that vastness in your own body. Now, as you're ready to, on an exhale, straighten the front leg, let the arms dangle. Inhale, bend the front knee, take the arms up. Right, two more times. Just easing your body in. This is what we do in yoga therapy, is the idea of like allowing your body to be ready for the pose, so your body receives the pose better. Adapting so it fits you. When you get to the third one, you'll come into it and hold, whether you hold with the back knee on the floor, the back leg straight, it's up to you. Again, some of you might just stay with the hands either at the hips or at the heart or to the sky. If the back leg is straight, press through the back heel so that way you're elongating so as muscle here. If the hands wanna be at the heart, the hips or to the sky, it's up to you. Doesn't feel comfortable. And also place something underneath the tops of uh, where they meet the ankle. And on the exhale, it's almost as if where the bottom of the shoulder blade is, it would reach up and back. Stop in a downward dog in our spine. Make the dog pose feel better. On the last one, exhale. Bring your hands down on back onto the floor. And let's do some shoulder push ups. So elbows are going to stay straight here. Again, shoulder exhale. We'll do five times. Feeling of the sky, the canopy of the sky here. Just letting it extend. On the last 